What's good, y'all? It's your man, Coach Bruce, and welcome back to the Next Gen Code series. Today, we're going to get into the diet, nutrition, meals. But before we get into that, let me tell you a little about myself. So, as I just said, my name is Coach Bruce, and here's some of the stuff on my resume. I have a degree in psychology from UCLA. I have a certification in nutrition in micronutrients. So I do, I am certified to give nutritional advice. I was a CIF athlete in golf. I'm studying to become a law student. And I actually have a lot of years in basketball training experience. I've been training for at least eight years, probably more than that, probably close to 10 years. I've been helping uh, little kids and coaches since I was like in, in middle school. So I've been doing this for a while. I've been assistant coach. I've been a head coach for a girls basketball team, help with bas uh, boys basketball teams. And the last five years, four or five years, I've experienced working with little kids from five to 12 years old in sports and after school programs. So that's just a little bit about me. Just uh, so y'all a little acclimated to me. You know, y'all just been watching stuff. Y'all have seen me, you know, shoot around, teach, do a bunch of, uh, you know, practices and stuff, but that's just a little about me. So let's get into the fun stuff now. So we're gonna go all the way down to chapter two. Y'all have already watched. Y'all have already watched chapter one. This is pretty much all the stuff in the chapter one stuff. It goes a little more in depth. All right, let's go to chapter two. All right. So next gen code chapter two meals. This is the fun part. We're gonna learn some of the stuff that we should eat. So let me just start off here. I'm, I'll go loosely a little bit off the slides, but I'll go off the cuff a lot. So let me read a little bit though. Did you know that you could eat foods to make your muscles bigger? Cool, right? I'm about to give you some foods that will help you get stronger and help you recover faster after playing basketball. So you could actually eat foods to make yourself less sore after playing basketball and give you energy for the next day. And the fun thing about it is we want to make our diet nice and colorful. That's where we get into the rainbow. So our body loves different types of colors on our foods. So that goes down from red to yellow to orange to green to blue all the way down to purple. The colors will tell you the superpowers of the food. So let's start with yellow. Yellow is really fun. So one of the most one of the best foods for sports, you've probably heard it a lot of times, is bananas. They are sweet, they are tasty, and they give you lots of energy. They have this thing called fructose. It's a sugar that our body likes to use for energy. It also has these things called electrolytes, specifically potassium. Potassium helps our body stay hydrated, so our body starts getting dehydrated when we play, dehydrated when we play basketball. So the electrolytes, you probably heard that a lot in Gatorade commercials. It's better when you actually get it from the bananas. These electrolytes will help you stay hydrated and ready to keep on playing. Another cool fruit that I like is butternut squash, and it has a lot of vitamins and most of the minerals. So this is another great one. You'll usually find it chopped, and it's a nice yellowish gold color. All right, green is one of the most important colors. So we gotta eat our salads. So the first vegetables we'll learn about right now are lettuce. Lettuce is one of the best vegetables in the world. They give your body most of the nutrients that you need from vitamins to minerals to these things called plant phytonutrients. I don't, I'm not gonna break that down too much, but in essence, eating these lettuce greens will help you feel healthy and good. Kids who don't eat greens or lettuce tend to be bigger. So a lot of the bigger kids, honestly, they're not eating enough lettuce or green foods. So here's some of the ones that you want to add to your salads to your, and to your meals. It could be baby leaf, romaine, spinach, arugula, and kale. Which brings us to green too, the green vegetables too. I call these the cross vegetable vegetables. They are called cruciferous veggies. So just remember cross vegetables, but they're shaped like a cross. So think of something like a broccoli or a cabbage, Brussels sprouts, stuff like that. And they have a little more nutrients than the, the leaf vegetables like vitamin C and vitamin E. All right, let's get into orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors. So obviously the first fruit you're gonna know is oranges. 
and this fruit has tons of vitamin C so make sure to eat some oranges especially right now we're in the winter months and it'll help keep away illnesses sicknesses and the flu we don't want to get the flu we don't want to get cold so vitamin C will help us also carrots carrots are amazing it has this thing called vitamin A so vitamin A is actually an antioxidant as well and it has these things called beta carotene which helps with your eyes so a lot of kids are actually getting blindness now because they're not getting enough of this vitamin A and if you don't get it your vision will start to get worse and it's starting to happen at a younger and younger age so make sure you get vitamin A or beta carotene also my new favorite vegetable sweet potatoes I eat sweet potatoes almost every day now and it has a ton of vitamins minerals a little bit of protein which helps your muscles get bigger and stronger and it has a ton of vitamin A this actually has about three times your vitamin A and that's safe to eat and that's gonna help with my vision it's gonna help you with your vision so throw a sweet potato in the oven and get to cooking these are awesome all right red so red we know the basics apples strawberries and cranberries these have a lot of nutrients and usually these are a little sweeter so these are a little fun to throw in a diet for a little bit sugar taste you could throw them up in a salad eat them on their own before practice it is all good all right blue usually blue foods have a lot of antioxidants so the first one i'm going to get into is the blueberry it's one of the best fruits in the world and it has tons of antioxidants which is going to help keep you nice and healthy not get sick and then it has the vitamins and minerals but yeah these antioxidants help your body fight disease so make sure when you go to the store tell your mom i need to get some blueberries it'll keep me healthy lots of people are sick make sure i need some blueberries next we have acai it's a little fancier fruit but pretty much does what blueberries does has a lot of antioxidants vitamins and minerals get it I juice it up it's a little expensive but it tastes delicious next we're gonna get into purple so there's a lot of things basically it's could be like the sameish version of the other veggies so something like purple carrots purple potatoes purple corn they're the same vegetables but they're just a different color but usually when something is purple it tells you there's more nutrients so they tend to have a little more nutrients and be a little more expensive which is cool because all you're doing is investing in your health so you can stay healthy and get all your vitamins and minerals one that i really love is dates dates are nice and sweet and they have a ton of vegetables they have a ton of nutrients in them so dates are good figs and blackberries all right let's get specific now so we have these bodies that decide how much that we of fruits and vegetables that we have to eat to stay healthy so this body is called the FDA or the RDA. So here's the recommended daily amount. That's how much fruits and veggies you should eat. So here I have it nice in, in a nice big white slide. If you are between four and eight years old, you need one and a half and two cups of veggies. So think of eating, you know, six broccolis or two carrots, something like that. And one, one and a half cups of fruit. So all you need is like a cup of, cup of juice maybe an orange or an apple and you're good then eight to 13 year olds you need two to two and a half cups of veggies so now you're gonna need a whole salad <laughs> or even two salads so get you a salad get you some carrots get you a sweet potato sweet potatoes are good and it will actually fill out that veggie slot then we also have one and a half cups of fruit so drink some drink some apple juice drink some orange juice get you some strawberries and you'll be good Adults need a lot more veggies and fruits. So here we can see we need two and a half to three cups of veggies and two cups of fruits. All right, protein is super important, especially for athletes. Protein is what makes a muscle. When you play basketball, your body's gonna run through protein a lot faster because it's constantly breaking down and rebuilding a lot. So you need to get these, get protein from vegetables and meat sources because especially for an athlete your body loves to use protein and keep recycling it so let me give you some foods so for meats there are three main sources you can get it from those three sources are going to be chicken fish and cows all three th all three of these animals have a lot 
of protein your body could use. I recommend fish. That is the best one. Check it, chicken's the second best. Cows, you got to be careful because usually they use certain hormones that could lead to diseases, can make you tired and may make you a little chunkier. And we don't want that one playing basketball. And especially tell your mom or dad to get natural meat. Some companies like McDonald's, they'll put chemicals to make it taste good, to make it look better. However, they're just disguising that it's actually a sick cow's meat. So look at something like Chipotle. Chipotle has natural meat and they don't put all that stuff in there. So that's a, that's a nice option. Get you some masada, get you some, maybe some guacamole, get you some chicken and you'll be good to go. All right, veggies and fruits also have lots and lots of protein. Some examples are avocado, rice and beans, quinoa, lentils, and chickpeas. So you can make it fun. Avocados, I actually included a little document, the next gen code ingredients and recipes. So let me go over here, scroll up, and let's see if I can get it. Scroll down just a little bit. Boom, here's the chipotle guacamole recipe. So if you wanna get some protein, uh, cut you up two or three avocados, mash it and make you some make you some uh, guacamole. Or you can make some hummus. Get some chickpeas, mash them up, throw a little bit of tahini and lemon juice and olive oil, and boom, you got a delicious dip. So there's lots of ways that we can get protein, we can make it fun, and it'll help us make our muscles big and strong. Awesome, awesome. All right, organic. So organic foods have organic stickers on them and they usually have their own section in the store. The reason why I like to get organic is because they have more nutrients, including vitamins and minerals than normal foods. And this is because they're grown different, making them a little more healthy. However, this also makes them more expensive. However, it is worth it because they uh, have a lot of nutrients in them. So I would recommend ask your mom or dad, get you some organic because they are healthier. I'll put some studies up there if you want. However, you can take my word for it. Usually they have three to four, so like bananas. Bananas have three to four, organic bananas have three to four times more potassium than regular bananas. So that's just food for thought, pun intended. So juice, tons of different juices you can try. Apple juice, cranberry juice, orange juice. Make sure, like I said, drink OJ during cold months and the flu season, because this will help your body fight off the flu colds and other viruses. Some other ones you might want to try are guava juice and dragon fruit juice and maybe even pomegranate juice. These are delicious. They have a bunch of vitamins and minerals in them, vitamin B, vitamin C, and that's just gonna help you, uh, your body have another, a nice range of nutrients. So we always wanna make sure we're switching up so our body doesn't get used to some of the uh, ingredients in the food and it has a good effect. And I, rec I recommend cold pressed juice. These are gonna keep the integrity of the specific juice that you're drinking. So if you blend it up, that could actually lead to losing some of the nutrients. So cold pressed juice keeps more nutrients and your body will use them more efficiently, more effectively, and that'll keep you nice and healthy. healthy. All right, milk. So for me, milk from cows is a little bit of trouble because a lot of companies will put chemicals in the cow milk i.e. they'll give the cow certain hormones and stuff and as a result you are basically drinking it as well and this can make your tummy ache and make you feel sick so i recommend you get other types of milk and there's a lot of different fun types of milk some of them have some sugar in them some are unsweetened but they taste good either way some of them are oat milk coconut milk almond milk and soy milk i don't know about soy milk but i put it on there because some people like it but some people might be have some bad effects to soy as well but that's on you to check the allergy you know if it doesn't you know you can still try it out but i recommend these other three they all taste good just pick your favorite water we are made mostly of water so we got to drink lots and lots of it we have to drink about half our body weight in water in ounces so for example if you're a 100 pound kid you want to drink at least 50 ounces of water so this is going to be 50 ounces your body needs water so you don't become tired or worse sick so make sure you carry a bottle with you everywhere you go we gotta stay hydrated dessert 
it is fine to eat some dessert so every now and then if you want to eat some candies or cookies it is all good just make sure you don't do it before practice because you will lower your energy and as a result it'll make you perform worse also don't make them your breakfast and dinner we want to make sure we have some other stuff something like oatmeal or some chicken something like that or else that's going to make our tummy hurt and we're not going to have that much energy our body needs vitamins and minerals to get stronger so we got to make sure we're getting our fruits and veggies in and our protein all right let's get into the fun part the meal plan so for breakfast i recommend you get a grain my favorite grain is going to be oatmeal so let's go back to our sheets let's scroll down so here we go the reason i love oatmeal so much here's the reasons behind the next gen sports diet oatmeal has a lot of testosterone so this is great for muscle building your your body uses this to build muscle it also has chromium this is a micronutrient that helps with insulin sensitivity that's a fancy word of saying it helps your body take in take in blood sugar so glucose or fructose that's going to be found in your fruits and other sources such just like that and that's going to help your body be like oh it's time to take in energy then nitric oxide oatmeal has lots of nitric oxide which helps to increase your blood flow so we could do this in the form of oat bars or you could just make oatmeal so that's an amazing amazing way to get started eat some oatmeal throw in a fruit like bananas or strawberries and you're good to go for lunch i recommend protein so get some fish or chicken something like that for vegetables you can get a salad some lettuce some carrots and try to get some fruit so you can get some blueberry blueberries or apple juice something like that and you'll have a nice little meal give you enough energy all right before practice like i said before we want to eat some bananas so let's go back to my sheets so the reason we want to have bananas i have a lot of explanations right here here we go let me go up one more time so bananas it has a lot of fruit sugar so that's going to help us give us a boost of energy also has a little bit of calories 110 calories so it'll keep us a little bit full it's made of mostly mostly water so it's made of 75 percent water so it'll keep us hydrated and like i said before it has potassium so that's going to help us stay hydrated another awesome one is dates that's also going to give us a nice boost of energy and the last one is awesome it's called pumpkin seeds so let's go back to my sheet so pumpkin seeds have a lot of protein a handful could give you as much as 7 to 10 grams of protein that's a lot so it'll help with blood flow just like oatmeal it will increase nitric oxide that's going to increase blood flow and it also has a bunch of other stuff like iron copper zinc and magnesium so most people don't get enough of these minerals so this is an amazing snack because it's going to replenish all of our micronutrients and have us feeling amazing and it also helps to lower blood sugar levels this is possibly from magnesium as was up here you can see it has magnesium so that's another good thing so if you have too hot too much blood sugar it'll help lower that so then we could go to dinner we want to finish with the protein so fish and chicken veggies maybe get us a little salad throw in a sweet potato and throw in a fruit so if you want to have some apple juice again some grape juice it's an amazing way to finish make sure you drink plenty of water before you go to bed because during when you sleep you get dehydrated you're fasting you're not eating so we got to make sure our body has some fluids and has some food in us so we do not wake up the next morning tired so let me give you a little bonus that is the end of my meal plan section of the diet section but let me give you one more bonus before i leave so i'm gonna give you one way to stay healthy right now so we are in the winter months a lot of people are getting sick so here's one way that you could help prevent sickness so what is my prescription olive oil but not just any type of olive olive oil it's called high polyphenol olive oil and you might be like what is that so you probably heard of the mediterranean diet this is always one of the top diets every single year and why is that it's because the food topping their diet 
the diet that they use, uh, a food source that they use a lot is olives and olive oils. So olives in Italy are a little different. They have these things called polyphenols, which are special chemicals that uh, olives create. So the two ones we want to look at are alluropine and aleocene. And specifically, there's this one, alluropine breaks down into hydroxytyrosol. So I know I'm speaking a lot of scientific terms, but basically this thing called hydroxytyrosol inside olive oil has a ton of amazing effects. So here's some of the benefits. It could help prevent cardiovascular disease, so that'll keep your heart healthy. It could help prevent diabetes and cancers. People on the Mediterranean diet have some of the lowest rates of all of these sicknesses and diseases, and this is one of the reasons why. So uh, let's keep it going. It also helps to reduce inflammation. So you know when your body aches, this will help reduce that. And it'll also help you stay healthier and not get sick because it has these things called antioxidants like I mentioned earlier. One of the antioxidants is called glutathione. Glutathione is this amazing antioxidant your body uses to neutralize waste and toxic things called reactive oxygen species. So I know I'm sorry, I'm getting very scientific. However, this is just an amazing, amazing uh, food source that you could eat, especially right now. So they've been proven to drastically ramp up your immune system. So it'll make your body so it can kick viruses butts, kick flus butts, and all of those other diseases that I mentioned. So you're asking, all right, all right, all right, what type should I get? So you should get this one called extra virgin olive oil, olive oil EVOO, with high polyphenols. That is very important. It has to have that on it. So it needs to have at least five milligrams of hydroxytyrosol per 20 grams. So you need to take 20 grams a day to get these beneficial effects. The type that I just got is called Estarte, 100% Greek organic. And it's been lab verified and meets all these requirements. So if there's anything you can get from this part of the lecture, look up a start there 100% Greek organic or look up something similar with high polyphenols and just start trying to take it every day. Take your 10, 20 grams and I almost guarantee you, you're gonna have a lot of amazing effects. You're probably gonna get sick less often. You're not gonna feel uh, like you're gonna ache as much and this is just gonna help you out. So we are finished. Your man Coach Bruce, I just finished up this small lecture on some diets, some tips that you could have, giving you some new knowledge on some of the fruits and vegetables, a way to stay healthy during right now, during the winter months. I hope you learned something. I will catch y'all next time. Make sure to uh, go and look at the next section, the mind section, and keep looking at the videos, keep learning, share with your friends. Do practice uh, some of the drills I have on there and let's just get better together. I want to help upgrade your game. So I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out.